welcome, welcome, welcome to Papa Stash Pop. And if this is your first time, feel free to browse all the videos. There's over 280 or 300 or 900 or something. There's a lot. Subscribe. It would be awesome. And then also, the way it works around here is go ahead and click that link down below in the description tab right down there. And that is how you request the song. It comes to a nice, awesome little email package for me. And it lets me know what you out there want to hear. Now, also check down on some of the other videos too, because sometimes there's some strum links and stuff like that that is not on YouTube. More free lessons out there for you guys. You're awesome. Now, this tune is no guitar, and it's barely on the music side. It's real buried, but thus leaving us wide open for our own creative guitar expression. So I will break down the progression for you and then show you like three ways you can mess around with it and turn it into A, learning an awesome new song, and B, being creative and having some fun. So let's zoom in for a close look. Check it out. All right, let's break this one down. Now it is very simple, you know, very simple chord progression because it really takes, and the music in general, takes a real backseat to the really dominant, awesome, rhythmic, you know, and cool melodic idea of this song that the vocals vocalist sings. It's great, great melody, great lyrics, great everything. And then the music is just, just barely back there. But the chords, D, C, or C add nine, and then G. So we can do two things. So all I'm doing is I'm going down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up. One more time. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up. Right now I would do that pattern twice. Okay, so twice on the D. Once on the C. Once on the G. And that's all we're gonna really do as far as guitar wise, if you just wanna do basic strumming. Now you can also make it a little more, you know, arpeggiated. Now, I'm really just doing the same thing, right? And it sounds like there might be intricate picking involved, but I'm just... Sometimes on the down strokes and sometimes on the up strokes, I'm just picking single notes out. I'm not doing any pattern specifically, but on the... On the down strokes, I am on each chord picking out a hammer on in each particular string of each particular chord. So in D, for instance, I'm gonna hammer on the G string second fret open and then hammer on. When I go to C add nine, I'm gonna do the same thing to the D string second fret. And then when I go to G, I'm gonna do the A string second fret. So again. Like that as well. You can also just do straight down strokes. And 
you'd have to change up the vocal rhythm a little bit. But it's all just the same. You know, it's however you want to mess with it because again, it's very keyboard driven. Obviously, there's no guitar in it, and it's very buried in the background. So play with that, mess around with it, use it as kind of an exercise. If you can sing, by all means, bust this one out. It's a great, great vocal line, melody, cool words, really well done song. This artist is great. I'm going to do another song of hers as well. So use that one, check it out, have some fun with it. You know, support the artist, buy the tunes, makes the world go round in this musical game we're all playing here. Yes! Way to go out there. You guys are awesome. See, wasn't that fun? You can kind of like do whatever you want when there's not a lot of guitar, but you can figure out what the chords are, right? You can check in this channel. I'll break it down for you. <laughs> but you can kind of mess around with it and, and express yourself, which is a very, very fun part about learning how to play guitar, whether it's songs we know or just taking basic chord progressions and kind of making them your own. That's half the fun. As a matter of fact, that's a ton of the fun. And then I'll teach your song when you're an awesome rock star, rock star S or whatever you want to call it. So remember the goal here, keep it happy, positive, fun, giant worldwide guitar playing, music playing community where we're all friends, bros and sisters in a giant worldwide jam session because that is the most fun when we're all, all buddies and I love you, man. And we're jamming. I mean, it's awesome. So let's make it happen. Thank you, as always, for joining me here at Pop Stash Pop. We'll catch you next time.